LG's PuriCare wearable air purifier is the company's new battery-powered face mask. As the coronavirus-led pandemic has made face masks a part of our daily attire now, we have seen numerous kinds of masks pop up in the market in recent times. We have seen masks with LED screens and masks that connects to a smartphone. Now, LG has jumped on the bandwagon of the face mask business by developing a new battery-powered air filtration face mask. We have seen the Soul-based electronic giant come up with a pair of earbuds with a self-cleaning charging case earlier. And now the company has announced a new air purifying face mask, the PuriCare wearable air purifier that comes with a battery-powered filtration system that can filter out 99.97% of particulate matter from the air. It can filter particles as small as 0.3 microns in size. A battery-powered dual fan face mask. According to LG, the new PuriCare mask will contain an 820 mAh battery to power the dual fans inside the mask. Moreover, with the power of this battery, the face mask will last for 8 hours on low settings and 2 hours on high setting. The LG wearable air purifier also comes with two H13 HEPA filters which are used in the company's air purifying devices for homes. These filters are replaceable. The mask also comes with LG's patented respiratory sensor which detects the cycle and volume of the wearer's breath and adjusts the dual 3-speed fans accordingly, wrote LG in the official press release. The Puri Care wearable air purifier is an exciting addition to our growing lineup of products designed to deliver meaningful health and hygiene benefits. At a time when consumers are seeking ways to make life safer and more convenient, it's important that we are able to offer solutions that add measurable value, says Dan Song, the president of LG Electronics Home Appliance and Air Solution. The company did not reveal any prices for the mask. It will showcase the new product of the upcoming IFAR 2020 in Berlin and has said that the PuriCare wearable air purifier will be making its way to select markets by the end of 2020.